What we're looking at here is the microanatomy of the liver. Starting with number one, we have the central vein, right? So at each of these liver lobules, right, in the center, we have the central vein. Number two right here, it's not immediately obvious what exactly it's pointing to, but it's actually referring to this triangular part of the liver, and this is called the portal liver lobule. This is a little bit different from the classical liver lobule, which forms this hexagon shape right here. Now, why is it different? So the triangle that forms here is actually centered around the portal triad, specifically the uh, bile duct. Remember that your portal triad is, it consists of branches of the uh, bile duct along with branches of the hepatic artery and a branch of the hepatic portal vein. So that right there, number two, is the portal liver lobule. Uh, number three, it's saying that it's the portal canal, right? But, you know, we also know this as the, um, the portal triad, right? And I've already talked about what, it's, what it consists of. But once again, the hepatic artery, the, the hepatic portal vein, and the bile duct. Uh, number four right here, this is pointed to the liver acinus. Number five, number five right here, if I kind of uh, color it in with yellow, this is called zone one. And then number six right here, this is called zone two. And then number seven right over here, that would be zone three. Now, what are these zones exactly? Well, pretty much they're just kind of a way we can functionally divide the liver uh, based upon oxygen supply. So zone one, which was uh, number five, um, zone one pretty much encircles the portal tracts where oxygenated blood uh, from the hepatic arteries will enter into this area. Uh, zone three is located around the central veins where oxygenation is poor. And then zone two is kind of like an in-between mix of zones one and zones three. Number eight over here is what's called the classic liver lobule. And notice the hexagon that I've drawn right here. This is your classic liver lobule. It is centered around a central vein. And again, that's what distinguishes it from the portal liver lobule because this one is centered around the portal triad. Number nine right here is pointed to the interlobular bile duct, right? So right here, the interlobular bile duct. Let's try to zoom in on that. It's a little blurry, but it is a green color right here. So that's one of the interlobular bile ducts. Uh, number 10 over here, again, we'll zoom in and if you can see that red portion right there it's an interlobular artery and then right next to it is an interlobular vein which if i zoom back out that's number 11 so number 10 is the interlobular artery 11 is the interlobular vein now if we go over to this model right here so just move it number 12 right here gonna have to zoom in really well it's a little hard to see but this is a Kufer cell and a Kufer cell is just a macrophage right inside of the uh, liver that pretty much will you know detoxify and do all its you know immune functions Now, a better view of that Kufer cell can actually be seen in this image right here. So once again, I'm going to highlight it. This is the Kufer cell. This is another Kufer cell, right? Kufer cell. So it's all over the liver lobule. And once again, right here, number nine, this is... Uh, the interlobular bile duct. So if I zoom in on that, that is the 
interlobular bile duct. Number 11 right here is the interlobular vein, right? This is your interlobular vein. And then number 10 is your interlobular artery. 12 again is the uh, Kupfer cell. 13 over here is the hepatocyte, right? So one of these small brown portions right here. Each individual cell is a hepatocyte. 14 over here is the terminal bile duct, also called Herring's Canal, so if I zoom in on that. Number 15 is one of the liver sinusoids, right? So all of these, right? This is a sinusoid. That's another sinusoid. And that is another sinusoid right there. 16 over here. I'll have to zoom in. If you can notice this green region right here, I'll highlight it. That is one of the bile cannuliculi where it'll drain um, bile from the hepatocytes into the bile ductule and then eventually to the gallbladder and then out into the duodenum. And then t um, this image is much clearer, so I'll also go over this one. So remember that each of these is a sinusoid and the, a branch of the hepatic artery and a branch of the hepatic portal vein both combine into here and drain the deoxygenated blood and the uh, oxygenated blood into the sinusoid to deliver it to each of these hepatocytes. This right here is, the, is one of the branches of the hepatic portal vein. This right here is a branch of the hepatic artery. Here we have our um, bile duct, right? These green lines right in here are your bile cannuliculi, which will drain into the bile duct right here. I'll zoom in so you can kind of see that a little bit better. And again, your, your Kupfer cells. And then your hepatocytes are each of these individual ones right here. So looking at these different angles of the model, let's zoom in. So right here, number one, that's your central vein. Uh, number 10 right here is an interlobular artery. Number 11, um, a little bit hard to see, but it's behind the artery. You have the interlobular vein. And then number nine over here is your interlobular bile duct. That's a little tricky to see. Number one over here is the central vein. Number 15 are your liver sinusoids. And remember that the sinusoids will drain into the central vein. 16, uh, very difficult to see, but it's in between the hepatocytes. And that is your bile cannuliculi. 13 is the hepatocyte. Number nine is your interlobular bile duct. You can see it in green right over here. Number 10 is your interlobular artery. And then 11 is the interlobular vein. Number one right here is your central vein, central vein, central vein. Number nine is your interlobular bile duct. You can see it in green right here. 11 is your interlobular vein. Very difficult, but it's the purple region right here. And then lastly, number 10 is your interlobular artery. And that's it for this model.